to have seen the whole express. No one? Okay. It's a beautiful movie. Today I'm going to narrate a story. The title of my story is The Polar Express. The author of the story is Chris Van Alsberg. He writes children's book. A boy was awakened on Christmas Eve night by the sound of a train. To his astonishment, he finds that the train is waiting for him. He finds that the conductor then proceeds to look up at his window. He runs downstairs and goes outside. The conductor explains that the train is called Pole Express and is now jutting to North Pole. The boy boards the train which is filled with many other children. The Pole Express races north over mountains through the boreal forests inhabited by the timber wolves as well as the rabbits but the train never slows down. When the train is at the North Pole, the conductor explains that the Santa is going to choose one of them to give the first gift of Christmas. <coughs> the boy and the other children see thousands of Christmas elves waiting at the center of the town, waiting to send Santa Claus on his way to handpick a child. And see, the boy is handpicked by Santa. Realizing that he could choose anything in the world, he asked for a bell from the reindeer's harness. And he got that from Santa. He put it in the, uh, in the pocket of his robe and sat down with Santa on his sleigh. Then the other children saw Santa take off into the night for his other annual deliveries. The uh, when the boy reaches home, he discovers that he has lost the bell. He goes straight to his bed and sleeps. The next Christmas morning, his sister finds a small package under the Christmas tree. It was for the boy. The boy opens it and discovers that it's the same bell the Santa gave him and then found that the Santa found it on his sleigh. He and his sister both marvel at the beautiful sound of the bell. But however, their parents cannot hear the bell and remark that it must be broken. And many years passed, my friends also could hear it. But as years passed, it fell silent for all of them. Even Sarah found one Christmas that she could no longer hear the bell. But I have grown old still. Though I have grown old. 